You've joined Schnesny Presents. I'm Bethany, your host. Today I'm going to share with you an interview where I was able to meet with Alana of Casale San Pietro, a home hotel located in the province of Lazio, around 40 to 50 minutes southeast of Rome. The Casale is surrounded by this pristine, untouched landscape that's moments from the historical sites. And I have to admit, I was all about raving during our interview. If you're looking for your next vacation in a beautiful part of Italy, I can't wait to share this interview with you and present Alana of Casale San Pietro. I would love to know, Alana, a little bit about your journey into the hospitality space. What sparked your interest? Um, both my husband Joe and I, we were successful uh, business people in the UK actually. Um, I was always in retail all my life, latterly a retail director with Hobbs. And my husband um, was a hairdresser. And we got to the stage in our life that we wanted a complete new chapter. And the thing that we both love is we both love people and we both love service. We know what look, good service looks like. And it felt absolutely right to go into the hospitality business. And Italy, we've lived in, and we've lived in Italy now five years, but before that we had a holiday home here in Italy. My husband's Italian. So it was also the place to be, a beautiful place. Um, we had the opportunity of buying the Casale, which is in Lazio, the probably hidden gem of Italy. We have so many beautiful places around and it just felt absolutely the right thing to do. And once we'd set the scene, all the jigsaw pieces came together. And it, so it's been the start of our new chapter, but absolutely the right one, fantastic change. And we work together, which we love. It's a, it's a perfect combination. Uh, I'd love to know about your exploration in hospitality. Did you did you journey with your family as a child to hotels or restaurants? Um, were you inspired from a young age? Yes, um, and I love going to beautiful hotels. And from a child, my father and mum, um, they always loved beautiful hotels. Um, he loved quality. My dad, who's not here anymore, but he always loved quality. He loved great service. So every year, twice, three times a year, we went to stay in beautiful hotels. Um, usually in the UK, actually, we didn't travel abroad, so we stayed in all the lovely hotels in the UK. And then through business and through holidays, Joe and I have stayed in so many hotels. So we really did know what um, we, we wanted to be like. And what you were stepping into. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it's, and really predominantly it's about service. We, we try and make a unique experience. In fact, one of our guests called us a hotel because it's, um, it's what I usually say, you've got all the luxuries of a lovely hotel um, but you've got the fairies to come and do everything for you and you're in a beautiful location so you can totally relax. And we want people to feel comfortable and at home. And I think that's what we've um, hopefully achieved. Well, your lounge area looks divine. Like I just want to crawl inside of our interview here and meet you there on the sofa in front of the fireplace. It looks heavenly. It's really cozy. And the lovely thing is people probably think of us more as um, a summer destination because obviously we have the beautiful weather and we have so much outdoor space beautiful pool and we've only got six rooms so we've got lots and lots of space but actually it's just as beautiful in the winter um, it's really cozy and this room which we call the long room um, has got lots of seating areas we have games we have a bar we have a library so it's a real hub of, um, of the hotel it, it is very cozy it sounds beautiful as though almost you've taken, um, you know, the comfort of a B and B in Britain and brought that over to Italy with the games boards and the fireplace. It's, it's looks yes. really lovely. And can you paint out your scene a little bit for us? Can you tell us about your scenery? How far are you from things like the forest or the beach? I know you're quite close to Rome. We think we're in the perfect part of Italy because we are only an hour from Rome city centre. 
which is fantastic. But we are just surrounded by olive groves. So we're in the true countryside. Um, we have got olive groves. So we've got, we're just surrounded by them. We've got views of olive groves and mountains, which is beautiful. Um, but we're also surrounded by some of the most beautiful towns in Italy, but they are lesser known than um, the major cities of Siena, of obviously Florence, Rome, etc. But we have got Fuji, which is um, a spa town. Um, and people come from all over the world to drink the water for health benefits, um, which is really lovely. And that's 15 minutes away. And then we, from the Casale, we actually look over the city of Popes, which is Ananyi. And it's so historical. Um, Joe, my husband, would tell you the more detailed history of it, but it was once the center of Christianity, to Avignon. And then when they came back to Italy, that's when they built the Vatican. And the history is phenomenal. Um, there is the most beautiful, um, church with um, the crypt which is classed as the second Sistine Chapel it is so stunning but in actual reality it's probably the first Sistine Chapel because it became before the Vatican yeah. so we're surrounded by so many lovely places it sounds incredible my mind is kind of in uh, in fireworks mode <laughs> Did you receive any mentorship along your journey? Was there any, did you have any advice from others in the industry or from customers? Um, we always get feedback from customers. We love to get feedback and we want genuine feedback from customers. Um, but actually mentoring in the hospitality business, not really. But yet all our lives, we've been mentored by some great people. I've had a wonderful career and worked with some of the best people in retail. So I would say all my life, I've had great mentors. And I also believe that every day is a day of learning. So we never stop trying to improve the business and we know what used to annoy us by going into hotels that if we have a hotel we never want to do that so we've tried to fit all those things and we spent a lot of time planning i love my mood boards so i did have some time before we opened to create mood boards on what we wanted to look like the target customer and the feeling we wanted our customers to and our guests to actually have when they're here would you describe your Casale as more of a recreational activities based retreat or more of a relaxation space? All of the above really, because we do things at different times. So predominantly through the summer, we are total relaxation. We get so many guests with high powered jobs that want to come and just wind down um, and a lot of people say oh we want to go to Rome we want to go to the seaside we want to go and do all these things but actually they get by the pool overlooking the olive groves and don't move um, so it's total relaxation time we have um, a small treatment room with an outstanding therapist who um, does some beautiful um, treatments using just beautiful products so they can totally chill and relax and in fact so many of our guest feedback is we love it so much because we never have to make a decision um, because we don't have a menu we have an outstanding team of cooks in our kitchen that do rustic italian food um, everything fresh so it's all made fresh but we don't have a menu so our guests don't really know what they're going to have until the evening um, and they love that so much because they say we don't have to think about it so all they have to do is choose the wine that's amazing it sounds like a mind cleanse you just have the time to be still True. but then on top of that we also do different events throughout the year so we do um, yoga retreats, which of course we are in the perfect place for yoga retreats, it's just perfect. And we start by trying one week in the year and we now do five and they're nearly always fully booked because it's just perfect. We do sunrise yoga, not true sunrise, probably about eight o'clock because people still want a, a little bit of a lie in. And then we do sunset yoga, which we do by candlelight in actually in this room, which is really lovely.
Um, we do walking holidays. So we've got, again, so beautiful scenery to walk. Um, we've got fantastic cycle tracks nearby. So in act, and we do cookery masterclasses. So actually all of the above, we, we want to try and just cater for the needs of all our guests. This all sounds phenomenal and I'm amazed. Are you managing all of these activities with your husband? Yes, indeed. We get, um, we have some experts that come in. So our yoga teacher is outstanding. She actually flies in from London. So we have great people doing the courses, but uh, each one is, is really nice. And also in this, people say, do you prefer to do events or do you prefer to do um, just normal people relaxing? And we love all, it's nice. It's having, it's having a change that's um, really nice. Talking a little bit about um, our current situation in coronavirus, um, you know, being in Italy, we were the first country outside of China who was really hard hit. And we have a whole lot of parameters that we now have to work, work within. So I'd love to know about some of the changes that you've implemented at Casale. Yes, well, fortunately, in terms of social distancing, that was really easy because we have um, four king size superior rooms and two suites. We only have six rooms and we have so much indoor and outdoor space. So the social distancing was very easy. The sunbeds, the tables outside, that was really easy for us to achieve. We also obviously set up um, gel stations um, in the two bars when you come into reception. Um, and in terms of cleaning, not a lot of change because um, we absolutely pride ourselves on cleanliness to the utmost standards anyway. Um, so, and then obviously uh, um, we've just been aware of staff having to wear masks. We also have masks for our guests if they haven't got one, they can use. Um, so little tweaks but fortunately because of the size we are it's not been too dramatic for us i'd love to know about some of your sustainable uh, processes um, that you have in place at casale so we have our own well which is water from the mountains which is beautiful spring water and we have um, the taps in the in our outdoor bar so guests can have the fresh spring water um, from our taps and they can either have frizzante or naturale and we don't have to buy any plastic bottles of water at all and in fact this season we've just bought chili bottles for guests to use when they're here and buy um, to fill the water up from the uh, taps so again they don't have to have plastic bottles if they go on a personal tour which Joe does several personal tours of Rome etc we give them one of the bottles to use so that's really quite good um, we use pure um, aromatherapy oils in our spa so again really beautiful pure products and we also um, have got solar panels for some of the heating we want to do more we are we have got a list of things we want to do more we want to install solar panels for our swimming pool which at the moment it's not there um, we use the a gas boiler to heat so that's something that's on our list um, so each season we're looking to do a little bit more wonderful and if you could tell me and, and kind of help me out with a visualization here, uh, where has been, you know, the one location, the one vacation you have been on where you feel that you've been transformed or you've experienced something, you know, beyond expectations? Tell us a little bit about that vacation. Oh, wow, really difficult. In fact, I think one comes to mind a couple come to mind because again we we love lovely holidays and part of the inspiration of this hotel was when i surprised my husband for his special birthday and we went to a hotel in sicily which is where joe's from so most of our great experiences i have to say is sicily we're a little bit biased we love italy full stop um but we went to um, a vineyard and in fact, we stock some of the wine. It's called La Planeta wine. And it's in Menfi in Sicily. 
and it's you're in the middle of a vineyard you've got a small hotel slightly bigger than ours i think about 19 20 rooms and you've got the sea pretty much at the end of the vineyards and it was quite magical our friends came to join us as a surprise he didn't know all the friends were coming we did wine tasting and it was one of those perfect times the environment was lovely we sat around a large table doing wine tasting and it was quite magical really lovely that sounds divine you've been watching schnesny presents if you're enjoying our inside hotel series you can click on the subscribe link below or drop us a comment visit www.schnesny.co.uk where Arthur and I would be so happy to help book your very next vacation.